Hey guys, so there's a question about adding or about the need for a lip on the case. Uh, just to show you here, on the original case I designed, the original two-part case, there is a lip. Uh, that's that piece right here. Here you can actually see how it extends over the iPhone. Here you can kind of see where the iPhone goes in. On the case I designed in the tutorial, I did not add a lip. Um, I don't know if it, would if it would be necessary or if the friction of the walls would be enough. So I'll quickly go ahead and show you how to make one. So here I have the outer shell of the case. It's um, nine and a half millimeters to the front of the phone and three millimeters to the back of the phone. There is no back plate right now. You could do this before or after adding it. It does not matter. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the iPhone. And here you can see that shell. So the way we're going to do this <clears throat> is we're going to use the sketch tool and we're going to use the sweep tool. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. I'm going to choose the rectangular two point. I'm going to select this plane. You can select any one of these four planes. It really would not matter too much. Uh, we're just going to do this once and then use the sweep tool to duplicate it all the way around. So I'm just going to come all the way over. I'm going to go one millimeter high. Perfect. And I only need one to draw it once so that I can stop the sketch. Zoom in a little bit more so I can grab this. Perfect. I'm going to go ahead and extrude it. And we're going to extrude it out one millimeter or however big you want the lip to be. Actually, you know what? In this demonstration, I'm going to do two just so it's a little bit easier to see. Now see that lip. I'm just going to reorient myself here. So now to sweep it. <clears throat> the way we're going to do this is we're going to go into our solid menu. We're going to go into the sweep tool. And we're going to pick this small little face right here, the edge. Then we're going to go ahead and say path. We're going to click the path where we want it to sweep around, which is this inner one. And then you could do this and grab the arrow and manually do it. And that's great if you only want to go a certain distance. But what I'm going to go ahead and do is actually click full path. And then here under operation, you don't want to use cut, you want to choose a uh, new body. Press OK. You now what you've done is you've actually taken that um, shape or that body and actually moved it all the way around this case. So now you have a super, super simple lip here. Uh, next thing I would do is go ahead and actually extend the outer shell of that case um, another millimeter up so that it matches, so that way your, your width of the case matches. <clears throat> I would just throw a quick fillet on this as well. Select all the edges, throw a quick fillet on it, and now your iPhone would be solid in there. 